Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawl Craft Want, my old barn door, barn door treasures on eBay, and digital Diane designs on Etsy for digitals only. And today we're gonna pick the pages for our signatures and hopefully get our signatures stitched in to our flip-flop journal. So we're just gonna get started. So I have a bunch of pages here picked out. Wait a minute, how are y'all today? <laughs> See, I'm getting I'm getting a little better about remembering to slow down and say hey. Hey y'all. <laughs> I hope y'all are doing wonderful. I hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful day. I hope you are all anticipating getting to spend time with your family tomorrow and um for the Thanksgiving holiday and I hope that you are each and every single one of you I uh, have so much to be grateful and thankful for. I hope that that is the case for you. I know it is for me. And um, so I hope that you enjoyed the day reflecting on all of the things uh, that you're giving thanks for. So, okay, now we can start. <laughs> I have a bunch of pages here that I've picked out that I thought we could go through. I've got some very vintage book pages and some... Uh, embossed pages and some coffee dyed pages and some avocado dyed pages. I actually only have one avocado dyed page left. So uh, if y'all know where to get some good avocado dyed pages, let me know because I'm going to be needing some. Uh, I have some. Uh, this is uh, newsprint paper. Vintage newsprint paper. Um, I've got some um, some dyed, these are Kool-Aid dyed coffee filters that I thought would be pretty because it's, you know, we have our pinks and greens. Coffee dyed paper. Anyway, so let's just, um, let's just start picking and choosing. So I'm going to um, scoop my journal over. I think these might be folded a little bit. No, they're not. It's not too wide, I don't think. We might have to take a little bit off of this side, but I'm okay with that. So, I do think I want to include this one. I know it's a little bit brighter pink. <clears throat> Excuse me. Than what, you know, than what this is. But, I think we can make it look pretty. Alright, so let's do this one. And, let's pull. I'm going to kind of get myself a little bit organized. I really like this blue. I really think that's pretty. Now, when you're putting these signatures together, you kind of only want like four or five pages per signature because it chunks up really fast because you're going to add little flip out pages and things like that. So you're going to have plenty of room in the journal, but if you put too many pages in, it really chunks up really fast. So um, let's just pick three or uh, let's just pick four or five pages for each little signature. So I have this and this. I think I might want this to be in the very center. So I'm gonna fold it backwards so that our embossing, well, really and truly, it's the right way either way. All right, so we'll make that the center of the signature. I don't know if I want this one because I want some of these really pretty vintage pages. Look, I have some really pretty vintage French pages. Let's put one of these in here. And then, These are some French ones. Let's do, this is um, uh, from like a Campfire Girls book, and I absolutely love the feel of these pages. They're very, very buttery, very soft. They almost feel um, like a fabric. So I'm going to put one of those right there, and I don't like mine to be folded perfect. Okay. So let's see, I'm going to put my little signature there. I know that um, this one's going to be um, the first inside signature right here, I think. Because we're going to do a little bit smaller of a signature right here. I haven't done a signature right here before, but I saw somebody else do that. I can't remember who it was. It might have been Leslie, but I've, I've watched a bunch of different videos. Um, anyway. We're going to put one there, too. So this one will have, instead of three signatures, it'll have four signatures. 
So um, let's see. Let's let's pull a couple more pages. You start going through all the stuff that you have, and you want to put every single thing in here, but you just can't because if you do, you're gonna mess yourself up when you start decorating it. Ask me how I know. I learned that from experience. I really want a piece of this. Uh, There's a name for it, piano roll paper. I think I want this here. And I think I'm gonna come in with it because this is just a little bit too wide. So I think if I fold it like right there. So I'm gonna need to reinforce that though because you know it's got the little divots in it. So that's gonna need to be reinforced. But I do think I'm gonna just fold this page over. So we can add some things to that to kind of reinforce it in just a little bit. Um, okay, so that's, I don't really count these. When I put these in, I don't really count those as a page. So we'll do one or two more pages in this one. So let's flip on through here and see what else we have. Oh, I love this. I love this so much. Isn't that so pretty? And won't that be pretty in a pink journal? So I think I'm going to fold this in half long ways. So very pretty. I got this out of one of those um, Christmas books that has like the cookbook and it has crafts in it. You know what I'm talking about? I can't remember the name of them. Alright, so we're going to put that. Oh, how pretty is that? I love that so much. We might have to put this one over here because it's got a lot of pink up against that red I don't know though I think it'll be pretty up against the red I don't know we're gonna put something else on the outside of it I think I want music um, let's see oh and I have these ideals magazine pages I picked out so many pages and I'm like what are you thinking Diane you, you're not gonna be able to use them all but it's okay all right let's, let's pull a music Let's do a music for the outside one of this one. Okay, and for the music one, I think I want it to be... Is that one too wide? No, it's not too wide. So if I measure the music one to this one, we should be okay. Alright, so we're going to go that way. And I'm just going to fold right there. And then I'm going to flip it over. And I'm just going to fold that back for now. We might not, we might just tear it off or we might keep it and attach another page to it. But I'm going to leave it just in case we want to attach another page to it. Okay. And then, alright, so I want to, um, maybe I want this to be the center of the journal. I think I do. Of the signature. Wouldn't that be a pretty center of the signature? Yep, yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, and then I want to, I think I want to make a pocket with our music. And I'm going to tear some of this off at the top. Because we don't need all that just plain paper up there. I just want the busyness of the music. I love a busy music page. Okay, so let's see. Let's go this way with it and let me see how how it's going to fit in here I want some to stick out at the top and some to stick out at the bottom kind of like this can y'all see what I'm doing I'm not paying attention I'm sorry yeah so I want some to stick out at the top I probably need to raise the camera up a little bit so y'all can see a little better let's try that sorry guys Okay, so we have a little at the bottom and a little at the top, and I like that, and we're just going to leave that for now and move on to our next signature. Okay, so we'll we'll have one for inside here. All right, so now that we have music paper, we can kind of push this to the back. I'm going to pull this one to the front because I know I'm going to want this in one of these signatures, and let's just go ahead and make it fit inside this one. Okay, so if 
we come to about right here, I want to give a little bit of room for, um, you know, a little bit of space for the signer, signature. So I'm just going to fold that right there. Let me make sure it's straight. Okay. And I'm going to move, scoop my papers over a little so that y'all can kind of see a little bit better what I'm doing. I do think I want to put this in this signature though. Oh, and I have some little sacks here that I thought we could put into, um, you know, a signature or two. And I definitely want to use some of this coffee dyed paper. Oh, let's use this one. That's pretty. Okay, let's sit that over to the side. Sit that over to the side. And then we're going to go ahead and fold this on over so that we know where to fold it to have the right size. And then I'm going to fold this one backwards. Again, leaving us capability to add a page if we want to. Okay. So this will be one. I think I want this to be the center of the signature. So we're just going to fold him like this. And then this one can go like this. And then we need some book page. Where's that other French book page with the red? Let's do this one. Okay, let's do this one. Let's make sure. I always like to make sure I have a good um, spine in my book pages. And if I don't, like this one's kind of weak. So if I don't have a good spine, I'm just going to add something here to kind of reinforce it a little bit. But let's get our signatures made first. Then we'll go back through and do our reinforcing. All right, and then I want to push that kind of to the top. Um, let me scoop this over. Let's put a sack in this one. I think that would be fun. Okay, I'm just going to fold it just like this. And that way we can have a skinny tag in this side. Okay. So we can put that like that. I still need some vintage book page in here. Let me scoop my sacks over. That one's pretty. Let's see what else we've got. I love that pretty avocado dyed paper. Oh, this one is super pretty, but we already have a French one in there. I'm going to pull that one out for the next one. This music is absolutely beautiful. I don't know how old it is, but it's very, very old. Like early 1900, late 1800s. And you know what? Let's use a piece of this. That is too pretty. Okay. And I think I want it. Do I want it to go this way? I think I do. Alright. So I'm going to put this one here. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then the music will be our last one. I just like that so much. And I love it when I find a music page or any kind of book page that has the fold already in it. I leave it because I think it's so pretty like that. Alright, so let's just fold this around this signature right here. Okay, I'm going to mark my spot so I can get a good straight fold. Such pretty paper. And I have hoarded this because I just love it so much and I didn't want to run out of it, but sometimes you just have to use it because it's not doing anybody any good sitting in your drawer being hoarded. Okay, so I think that's enough in this signature. One, two, three, four, five. I really wanted a piece of coffee dyed paper in this one. 
No, I don't need to do that. We'll put coffee dyed paper in another one, in the next one. <laughs> the struggle is real, y'all. <laughs> okay, so, whoops. All right, so this one will go in our signature here. Okay, so let's just fold this up. Well, it's not gonna be able to fold up all the way because I need to do some adjustments here on the side. Okay, let's see. I like that. That's gonna be pretty. Okay. All right, and then we need our signature. You know what, before we do that, let me just get this to where I can make it fit in here so I can close it up and really see what I've got going on here. Okay, so do I want to tear the edge off of this one or do I want to fold it? I think I want to tear the edge off of this one. Okay, and this one. I think we're just going to tear both of them because there's not really, that's not big enough really. I mean, you could hinge a page onto that if you wanted to but it would kind of be weak. I kind of probably need those to be a little bit shorter. Maybe it'll be okay. And I think these are going to have to fold in a little. I think what I'm going to do is fold this one in this way a little bit so that just one side of it has to be folded. And I think I want this to be in the center. So let me fold it back this way. And then we'll fold this one in this way. Okay. Let me see what we got here. don't think I did that right. I might need to fold this one just a little hair a little bit smaller because I want to have plenty of room for my for my journal to close the right way. And it's okay if you can see the folds, it's okay. It'll be all right. This is gonna have to be refolded too because this needs to be smaller. So we're gonna go this way with it. I thought I had it right, but I just didn't. So if all else fails, you just refold it. Again, another reason why I love junk journals because there's never a mistake that you can't fix. Go a little further in with that one. This one, for me, when I make my flip-flop journals, this little signature here is always the skinniest one. It's always a little bit skinnier than all the other signatures. Okay, so we're going to put that right there, and then this right here, so this is going to need to be, I'm going to fold this back for now. If we want to tear it off later, we will. Okay, and I think we might do better if we make this one just a tad bit skinnier. I just really messed up on all of that, didn't I? But it's okay because it can be fixed. All right. And then this one, we're gonna fold to like that. Let's see. Yeah, this one needs to be refolded too. Well, I just really messed up on all of that. I did a doozy. It's okay though. Alright. So we have that one. Okay, see now it will fold. It'll fold in. And then we'll have a signature here. Okay, so we've got one signature that goes here. This is your front. 
I'm out of frame. I'm sorry. Let me scoot this camera over so I know where in the world I'm supposed to be working. Okay, so you've got the front. This will be your first little signature, which we'll make that one next. Then you open it up, you have a signature there. And then you open this up, and you have a signature that's going to go here. Okay? And then, open it up here, and this will be where the last signature will go. Let me move this out of the way. Alright, so let's go ahead and do the signature for this. And I think I want it to have... I don't think I want it to have the coffee dyed paper in it. Let me see. I'm gonna scoot that over out of the way. I love this. I think this is so cute. And I love the little perforations here. Maybe I'll do one of these sideways in here. Okay, so do we want one of these in here? Yes, I think so. And that spine might need a little bit of reinforcing just because this is such an old book page. But then, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and tear a little bit off of the edge of that. Just so I don't run into the same problem I did in the other signature. And I get them too big. I have to refold. Okay. Alright, so then I want to put... See, I love the contrast of the white against that old vintage book page. I think I'm going to fold this right here where it says galoshes. And then we'll fold this one backwards. And see, all of these little folds are going to allow for more pages to be added. Little flip outs and things like that. Alright, so we'll put him there. And then what else do we have that we have? Let's put one of these. I love this. Um, this is just that shipping paper. The paper that they use when they ship you your Amazon packages and stuff. But I like it. Alright, so let's add him. And I think I'm just going to put four pages here. So let's do something pretty for the outside page. I love this. This is a very vintage reader from the early 1900s. But I don't really want to mess up the edges of that one. So we'll put that one in the last signature. Let me see what else. We've got this avocado dyed paper in here somewhere. Do we want that to be up against that pink though? We might need something a little more contrasting right there. We could do this one. Jesus loves the little children. And that's just the right height. Let's do that one. Alright, so if I put it up against here and fold it backwards like this, then we have a sweet little signature right there. And again, I don't mind if some of it sticks up out of the thing, but that one's not going to. But I love how the, um, the little picture of the Santa with baby Jesus pokes out a little. I still have to adjust this, but I'll do that in a minute. All right, let's get this light signature put together. How are we on our time? Lord have mercy. All right, we're definitely using the avocado dyed paper in this one. So let's refold because we don't want it to be quite that wide. Okay, so if we fold it about right here, Okay, and then we can fold this one backwards. See what that looks like. That'll fit good. Yeah. And again, I don't mind if some of it pokes out. Okay, and then we were going to use 
this coffee dyed paper over here. there to give me a good fold. I'll fold this one backwards. And I'll fold this one. I'm running out of coffee dyed paper too. I haven't been able to coffee dye in a year and a half and I have been using it sparingly because I'm running out. <laughs> okay. Let's do that one that way. So now we need, okay, we were going to use this French book page. So this one is a little bit brittle. And I think it might need some reinforcement right there. We might put some washi tape or something on that. And we'll also want to reinforce the spine. So I think what I'm going to do is just take a little bit off the edge. I hate to lo lose the patina over here, but you know, sometimes you just have to. Sometimes you just have to sacrifice because it still has the patina on the top and the bottom. Okay. So if we put him here, see if we can get him to open up. Okay. We need something in between these two pages. What do we have over here? I want something vintage, and I have something in mind. I'm gonna pull that because I know I've got somewhere I wanna put that. Okay, this one I love, I love this one. I think I've got one that has Oh, uh, let's use one of these. Hmm. Maybe not. And I think I might want to try and use one of these. Oh darn, I forgot about having these. See, I pull so many things out and then I don't get to use half of what I one of these. That's okay though. Let me scoot that over. All right, let's see what we can what we can do with these. All right, this one I think is what I want in between these two. And I need a kind of a longer one too. All right, so we'll put this here. And then I am going to just fold these in. I don't want them to line up completely. I want one to be a little taller than the other, and you know, just for added interest. Like that, like that. And then I want something long and skinny in the middle. And I think I want this one to kind of fold like this. him right here and then I think I want this one in the middle so I'm just gonna fold it like this and put that in the center of the signature like that yeah it's so funny because I always wind up with too much over here. Why do I do that? I'm going to have to refold. I don't mind the other ones, but that uh, um, the avocado dyed paper is sticking out way too far now. Okay. So, let's fold this one back a little further. I usually do better than this. Um, but, you know, when you get on camera, you always make every mistake you're going to make, you're going to make it on camera. I promise. <laughs> It's just how we roll. 
Oh, I folded this the wrong way, that's why. We had that there. We had this in the middle. We had that there. That there. And that one there. Let's see if that's better. Oh, yeah. That's much better. Okay. So we have our signatures put together. And now I'm just going to, I'm not going to stitch them in yet because it's a little bit easier to start adding the things to our signatures that we want to add. Uh, before we stitch them in so I'm just going to let them sit inside the the journal for now um where are we at on our time oh my goodness okay we're at 30 minutes so we're going to end the video here I'll go ahead and, and adjust these to be in the signature the right way um so I guess we'll come back in the next video and we're going to start adding our extra pages and we're going to start decorating in our next video so hopefully yes we are I'm going to quit talking so much. <laughs> y'all know I work slower when I'm talking. I'm running that mouth. I'm sorry, but I hope y'all are enjoying the series. I hope y'all are having fun. I hope you're enjoying your holiday. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment box below. Like and subscribe for me if you will. And don't forget the most important part is to have fun with it. And have a beautiful, wonderful day. Big hugs.